Right, we're leaving Southland. Really enjoyed it here, it's been really good. It's been nice, isn't it? Nice and quiet at night. And yeah. Hot, because we've had five really sunny days, haven't we? Yeah, it's been hot already. What, baking hot back in the way. And it's only, what, eight o'clock in the morning? Eight o'clock, yeah. On the 9.15 ferry, aren't we? Yeah. Again, I forgot to clean the window. <laughs> I'm just going to pull over and check everything's all right in the car. Sanity check, really. Just make sure the green on the tow hitch and uh, breakaway cables attached. Not got the handbrake on or anything daft. We had the uh, sat nav on car. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto A3056. Thank you. And it was going to take us up there, I think. <laughs> yes, so it does prove that if you, it looks at your dimensions, doesn't it? Yeah. She's telling us now to carry on to the end of the road and turn right onto the main road. On the main road, otherwise it would be taking us cross country. I think she was also thinking of taking us down one of those chutes as well. Yeah. Which, uh, not a good idea. No. And that's one thing I would say, I'm glad I brought the car uh, here. Um, it's enabled us to sort of well, explore the little lanes, if nothing else. But right, you, you yeah. could get by with a motor, as long as you're stuck to the main roads. Yeah. There are a lot of um, six foot six, two metre signs, yeah. aren't there, on a lot of the roads. Yeah. And I think but at least you know, you know, they're too narrow. Yeah, and I think some of the main roads are a bit, a bit hairy, aren't they? Yeah. I think someone said it was like going back to the 1950s, the uh, Isle of Wight. I'm not sure about that, but you know, cer certainly some of the roads are. No, you've got all the sort of like modern areas, haven't you? Retail parks, all that yeah. sort of thing that makes a lot of those. Yeah, no, it is like a little quieter part of England. Yeah, it is. I really enjoyed it here. Right, so we're back to the back to the ferry, get on the ferry, get off the ferry, and then we're off to Winchester, aren't we, for a couple of nights? Yeah. Yeah, we want to film um, Winchester because uh, it's been done up. Turn right yes. onto A3056. Be interesting to compare it because we did go before they started the upgrade, didn't we? Yeah, it was uh, one of the one of those sites we said uh, could do with an upgrade. That's right. There'll be lorry mm. coming there. Going all that way, up, that all the way to Yarmouth, no doubt. Tesco. It's not very nice this junction, is it? No, this is an awful junction. That's probably why she suggests in when you're in the car going up the other one. She was going to take us down there. Where? Down the, that tiny oh, right. road. Okay. So, yeah. Follow the sign, don't you? Yeah. People there already? Car ferry. Round to the right here. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wrigley.
Go on the back. Go on, go on, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go on. There we go. There you go. Need you under there. Hey. Bit warm here, isn't it, in the winter? She won't no, say it now, she, she just, said, uh, just said in a quarter of a mile, leave the ferry. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? But yeah. yeah. We've really enjoyed our time on the Isle of Wight. And we haven't managed to see it, everything, have we? No, we're just saying we, we, did, we didn't even see the needles and no. five days is not enough, really. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah, we've uh, been, been to Yarmouth, haven't we? We went yeah. to Sandown. Yeah, Carisbrook um, Castle. Carisbrook Castle, Osborne. Osborne House. And, and you went to the railway, the, the Gala. Railway. That's three, three days worth, isn't it? Yeah. And I've got to edit those when we get back as well. Yeah. Well, you would have, they would have seen all that by now because this is <laughs> way back. <laughs> Don't confuse me with time dilation. <laughs> Then leave the ferry again. Did it? Yeah. In half a mile, turn left onto B3054. Oh, noisy that. What? Noisy bag. Coming back the other way, you can't avoid this, can no, you? No, don't think so. services that we at here. Don't know, it looks, looks a bit grim over there. Don't even know what these services are. Um, on the M27 aren't we somewhere? Yeah, wrong, wrong 
like Romilly or something like that. Romilly? Romilly, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do myself a coffee. Uh, it's a new pad. Can't be having an eco flow <laughs> to, to make your coffee. Other power banks are available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is a Costa Coffee or something over there somewhere, about nine miles away, but we've had to park in the HGV parking area. I'm not walking over there. I'll get my own coffee. junctions up there. <laughs> Seems about nine million miles <laughs> away. Mile, take exit 10 on the left toward 831 then enter the roundabout. Traffic is horrendous. I mean there's roadworks here but really did not why is it so bad? I know it's bad going back the other way isn't it? Well we've all got to just stick to 50 haven't we? Well, well that should hope, keep the traffic flowing. You hope it would yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right, so you get to give way here. Yeah. Turn right onto the road. Gonna go in the what was the other side of the site, wasn't it? But now the entrance. Yeah, looks like it, doesn't it? It was further up, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Arriving at Hill on the left. See what they're doing. Well, they've taken the money, so we, we have paid. Okay. Down to the left here. Yeah. Quite a, a bit of a tight turn. A bit of a it? tight turn here. If you were going back to the other side of the pitch, there's a tight turn the other way, isn't there? Yeah. It's, it's not too bad, it's wide enough. We're following that unicorn, aren't we? Yeah. There's a couple of service pitches here, both taken, I think. No, they're not, they're, they're wide. Not Line. I think he was meaning these two here. Oh, okay. God, that gravel is white. Wow. It is, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's nice not to be carting. Waste masters and aqua rolls about for a bit. Oh, blimey, it's hot here. There's quite a sun trap here, really. A little bit of a breeze, but yeah, blimey hot. Might have a little look, drive round the site. Just so hot. Don't really want to be walking poppy on the tarmac now. It's midday. It looks like bits of it are melting there, so. Park the car. They've got the um, the wider pegs here, so obviously the idea is your awning and everything goes in that that spot there. I will move the car over in a bit, but uh, oh, it's so hot. I'm going to get the air conditioning out of the car now. Yeah. In case you haven't seen it, that's where I've been storing it. 
and it's been a lifeline in this heat. Started at 34 in here, so now 30. Whew. Go on, Pops, let's go and find the dog walk. Yeah, just past reception. Past the deer. Go on, Pop. That's just here. That's where it was before. Bobby, come on, it's a, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go on then. Yeah. I've cut the trees back a little bit here, they were quite overgrown last time we were here. Plenty of sniffs anyway, Pops, aren't there? Not sure how secure it is, I think it might be alright. Oh, it's nice and shady in the dog walk anyway. We've <laughs> got some, now Pops, we've got some agility things here. What do you reckon? You want to do that? No, okay. Now the other bit of the site was sort of separating there's a a drive going down there sort of separates the two halves let's have a look see what they've done with this side okay we've got electric charge in here There we are. Set charging lead and socket, press left or right, socket push button, set kilowatt option, present your debit or credit card, push button will light green to indicate charging has begun. Okay. I've got some ferry pitches here if you're heading for the ferry. One night hard standing pitches done for people arriving late or leaving early. Okay. No. Key code for the gate. Okay. Let's have a little wander around here as well, then, perhaps. At least it's a bit cooler now. I'm not too worried about Poppy's feet. Shadows are lengthening. put new um, service points in here chemical waste drinking water wastewater and the other toilet blocks up here and drive over great for motor home service point okay Not very new a lot of grass pitches up here Quite nice. We're sort of mowing the area where the pitches are and leaving the grass to grow a bit longer. All oh, good for the wildlife, I guess. Not for ticks and fleas, though, pups. Well, it probably is good for ticks and fleas, isn't it? But not for you. Oh, yeah, that was a very old sort of service point there. We stayed up here behind those. That service point last time we were here. I think we stayed around here somewhere. It's all very secluded up here. We have bug hotels here. Any pups? Buggingham Palace. Yeah, that brings us round the other side of the, the toilet block. There was the reception was up here actually. Yeah, here's the ferry pitching areas here. Okay. Yeah, quite a lot of them actually. Well, that's good.
Yeah, I seem to remember the old receptions. Was it over there? I can't remember now. Happy to chat bench. Yeah, it was. It was uh, over there. You see where the uh, site managers stay there. Oh, that's good. Which brings us back down to the other half of the site where we're staying. I'm going to have a look around the top of this part. Yeah, so here's the top half of the site. Yeah, so it sort of ends there. That's a dead end. It's one of those super pitches over there. get your own um, table a bit more space pictures are in there and then we're down here uh, our campsite manager did warn us that uh, tomorrow morning they're emptying the um, what are they called how oh, they were called Now, tomorrow morning they're emptying the silage tanks. Is it silage? I can't remember what the word is. But uh, they're in this sort of semicircle here, so there's going to be a big truck turning up and emptying that. So we might want to hold our noses. <laughs> Assume it's in there. Yeah, they've got to pump it out, obviously. So here we are. Quite like this site. That's the dishwashing. Oh, puppy. Yeah, yeah. Grass is a bit bare, isn't it? We hardly had any water, isn't it? No. Yeah. Be here. Not sure. It was. And these are ours. It's a pain there, you can't go walking in the road. No, that's right. No, come on. Something they didn't realise was uh, Morn Hill was actually a transit camp during World War I. Uh, 1914, there was a, quite a bit of information on, on this. It was all the huts, the main road through here, Winchester. Morn Hill is about to the right. A whole load of things about it in here. Not about anything, but I don't know, I didn't sort of realise that. Oh, there's some of the stuff on that website. Okay. Have a look at that. Yeah. 
a bit more here. Google Maps. 1465. Okay, we'll have a look in there. Okay, Walks. Quite a bit of information there. Places to eat. Dog friendly bars. Park and ride. Cycling. Jane Austen. Taxis, one hill to Winchester by a major one hill. So you can walk to Winchester from here. <laughs> pictures there. <laughs> Older picture down there, that's quite nice. And that's what happens when you call up your cable. <laughs> mm. Yeah, quite a nice little shed for usual sort of leaflets and everything. Uh, there's a website here, uh, stgileshill.org.uk. It's about the um, uh, the Morn Hill camp, Chesil Station. Winchester marched up St Giles Hill along the old Roman road, arrived at a large army camp on Win Winall Down and at Morn Hill. The role of Morn Hill was a transit camp for troops moving to France and Belgium through the ports of Southampton. Most of them stayed for a day or so. And there was a bit about the US Army in Britain, the Winnell Down Rest Camp at Winchester, a transit camp on Winnell Down and Morn Hill. Main road through Morn Hill Camp. <laughs> American Theatre. Oh, that's quite interesting. So the, what we're going to do, we're just going to go out for a end of tour meal, really. Yeah, because we haven't managed a, a we lunch, have we, we, since we haven't, Froome? It, we haven't eaten out <laughs> the well, whole tour. Apart from English heritage sandwiches and... Yeah, we, we've, <laughs> <laughs> we could do a gourmet guide on English heritage sandwiches, right, couldn't yeah, we? So, yeah. Oh, we won't do that. Um, yeah, so what's the pub called? The pub's called The Bridge Inn and it's a place called Shawford. Okay. And it's, it sounds quite nice with the outside garden or whatever. All right. So I so might film a bit of that yeah. just to show right. what it's like. But we just want, wanted to sort of cover off uh, the changes at um, Winchester Morn Hill. The toilets are absolutely amazing. Yes, they are. I, I love the idea of having like the pictures on the wall, you know, pictures of Winchester Cathedral and mm. that sort of thing. So no, really nice. Really like the toilets. Had a shower in there. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's big so, improvement. Big isn't improvement. It? So the best that they were the best showers on the whole trip, definitely. Definitely, yep. Um, what else was I going to say? I mean, I've got the piece of paper. They gives yeah. you a really good uh, thing about where all the hospitals yeah, all and vets and useful thing and all the stuff on the back. The stuff on the back, yeah. yeah. Um, they could change the pitching arrangements here as well, so we've got these wider pegs and they seem to work quite well, so yeah. thumbs up for that, it saves a lot of sort of manoeuvring. Yeah, I'm not sure about all these no mow areas. But no, it makes the place look a bit scruffy, I think. I think it does, yeah. yeah. It's very neat in the dog look area. Look at, I mean, you probably can't see it, well you can't see it because you're pointing this way, but... First at once. There's a lot of wildflowers and everything, but... Yeah. I suppose it's encouraging the wildlife, but yeah. yeah okay. Um, right. So there, there is a sh reception and shop selling groceries, ice cream, creams and things, things yeah. like that. Um, there's, there's a laundry here that we showed. Um, the new style bollards, didn't they? we have to do something? Follow do the something. instructions <laughs> on the side. Well, you know, you push it in, uh, and you push the uh, the breakers up. It's that that style. Yeah, the buses, the bus stop is situated opposite the Science Centre and Holiday Inn. So and just outside the campsite. Yeah, yeah, and you want the 64 to Winchester. There are two park and rides. Yeah. Um, it gives details of them with a postcode. Um, it says both are suitable for motorhomes. Yeah. You can walk apparently into Winchester. The details in the information are. It's, it's a fair walk. But I would have thought it was, yeah. Then it just lists some of the local markets. Yeah. There's um, something about Morn Hill history. Um, in the information. Oh yeah, mode. I didn't look at that. So I might have a look at that, and if you've already seen it. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's only one. Seems to be 
one evening when there's a food van. Okay. And of course, it's not the evening we're here. It there's, wouldn't be, would it? No, and no. there's a menu. It seems to be burgers, chips, that sort of thing. Okay. It's Friday evenings from half five, yeah. and Saturday mornings from eight thirty to a.m. Okay. Yeah, so that's very useful. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely site. Yeah, yeah, much really improved, isn't it? Yeah, much improved. We hadn't been down this side of the uh, the site really since. Uh, no, we were in the other area. We were in the we? upper area. Yeah. And big bonus of coming down here is the toilet uh, cleaning times. I think it's 11.15 yes. to 12.30. Yep. So you can have a nice late shower. Right, so now we're off to the pub, aren't we? Yeah. It's the sat nags <laughs> taking take us. Now the exit right. OK. Yeah, OK. we stop and turn him round? Sorry? Should we stop and turn it round or...? Am I stop and turn it round? No, you're going to stop and turn the camera around. <laughs> I'll stop and turn the camera around. Because I haven't got my remote. Yeah, so uh, we have had a little look around the campsite when we went out. But uh, there's the motor home service point. The gate was. No, it's down. Oh, a minute. Okay. So I just marched halfway across the campsite because I forgot to take the key fob with me. You know what's going to happen, don't you? By the time we come back, they'll have left the barrier up for oh, all the open, yeah. new arrivals.